Last night, again, the sky was lit up gorgeously across San Antonio. As you looked south and east, this was the view. Take a look at your screen here. Some of the pictures sent in through our KSAT Connect feature. Isn't that awesome? It's amazing. It is amazing. It right? looks, looks like it's photoshopped. I know, almost, right? I'll tell you what, this is a storm tracer's dream to get a backlit wow. thunderstorm off in the distance. This is another great picture sent in to us through our KSAT Connect feature. Here we go, another one off in the distance. This is from Sisterdale, so all the way up in the hill country, we were still seeing uh, this these storms off in the distance, and then I love this one. It is absolutely beautiful. You see the hill country there on, on the foreground and in the background, that beautiful storm. And here here is what that looked like on the radar last night. This is last night at about 8 o'clock in the evening. You can see there was a storm here, a severe worn storm out down near Pleasanton, severe storm out in Lavaca County too. These storms actually did produce some quarter to golf ball sized hail. But what was amazing is that we were able to see the structure of this storm from San Antonio, some uh, 30, 40 miles away, and then off to the west, some about 82 miles away because it was beautiful and clear around San Antonio. We were able to see off in those distances there. And some may be asking, why does the storm look like this off in the distance? Well, here's a little background for you. So what you're seeing, this is some 30 to 60 miles away. What you're seeing here is the top of the thunderstorm that we call the anvil. So Storms and clouds can only grow here closer to the ground. Once you get up to the stratosphere, that's about 30,000 feet up in the air, you cannot have clouds develop. They don't develop in the stratosphere. That's why planes fly up in the stratosphere so they can avoid any kind of turbulence. So as the storm grows vertically, it flattens out when it gets to the stratosphere. And that's what we're seeing here, the flattening out of those storms. Also, notice how there's streaky here kind of looks wispy. That's actually uh, the cold part of the storm or the snow part of the storm. So up in the atmosphere, you get snow develop. As it falls down, it melts in terrain. And it, depending on how strong the storm is, it can even have some hail like those storms did last night. So thank you to those pictures and those viewers who send in those pictures uh, to our KSAT Connect feature on our weather app. Outside